जय श्री राम लेट्स स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दिस एक्सरसाइज दिस इज अ सेंटेंस द फर्स्ट वन इज अ टेक्स्ट कंप्लीशन बिकॉज यू कैन सी देर आर ओनली फाइव चॉइसिस यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई जस्ट वन फिलासफर्स हैव लॉन्ग डिबेटेड द ट्रू मीनिंग ऑफ लव एंड पर्हाब्स द डाइवर्स यूज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हैव मेड इट्स डेफिनेशन डैश ओके दे आर लॉन्ग डिबेटेड इट सो दैट्स ए क्लू बट नाउ बट इंडिकेट्स है twist a contrast but genuine love always arises from a mutual sense of understanding and respect needs that needs that are truly universal okay so these are universal now let's see benign means harmless benign king means kind and gentle like chhatrapati shivaji was benign unlike aurangzeb who was a tyrant t y r a n t tyrant is a dictator a totalitarian government t o t a l i t a r i n totalitarian means extreme kind of dictatorship who is a despot d e s p o t the worst kind of dictator who exploits uh, everyone so benign means uh, harmless benign tumor is harmless benign ruler is kind so benign tumor the opposite is a cancerous carcinogenic tumor malignant tumor m a l i g n a n t now that is benign nebulous means very vague unclear nebula is actually a distant group of stars which are not visible which are not visible sort of they are fuzzy so nebulous means unclear vague non descript fuzzy f u z z y a very nebulous idea nebulous idea that means the idea is not clear it has not crystallized crystallized means clearly defined pernicious means extremely harmful dangerous most of our politicians today uh, have an extremely pernicious influence of on our country mm, their policies and their thinking pernicious means pernicious anemia in school you must have studied extremely dangerous very harmful seditious means betraying one's own country sedition is treason t r e a s o n gaddari deshadroham treason sedition means betraying one's own country specious argument specious logic false but convincing false but convincing say i personally don't believe in anything except sri rama except krishna ha huh? so uh, um, you know uh, gemstones lapidary l a p i d a r y lapidary means a person who deals in gemstones and diamonds there are many superstitions people believe in you know they believe that if they wear a particular gemstone their problems will be solved uh, similarly you have astrologers see vedic astrology was a science dealing with uh, when the yagnas had to be performed of course there was a lot of mathematics involved in that so that is a completely spiritual kind of science as of today it has descended into a kind of superstition i don't believe in that so but when you listen to these people they they are so good at the gift of the gab they have the gift of the gab that means they are so silver tongued they can speak so very well and convincingly that uh, even if you are a good critical thinker you will fall for their speech so that is called specious argument false but convincing synonyms for that is casuistry c a s u i s t r y sophistry s o p h i s t r y sophistry sophistical a sophist means a person who is a master of rhetoric who can convince anybody about anything eh? sophist is actually a word with a negative connotation sophistical arguments are false but convincing now pause here i am also working what do you think is the answer pause please made it yeah the answer has to be b because it has become nebulous okay there are many now it is sentence equivalence there are six answer choices so you'll have to identify two now let us quickly go into the answer choices like i told you so many times sometimes you will be so lucky you will find that there are only there is only one pair and therefore that should be the answer even without reading the sentence you should be able to say this is the answer 
So only when there are two or three, you will have to read and decide which one fits. Addictive, you know. Lackadaisical means lazy, very lazy, laid back. Salubrious weather, good for health, good for health. Adventitious, accidental. Beneficent, beneficent is synonymous with salubrious. Innocuous is harmless. Hey, I think the answer should be salubrious and beneficent, let's say. Because that's the only pair I can see here. Okay, there are many conflicting studies regarding the health effects of caffeine. While many emphasize the unpleasant results of its consumption, others focus on its obviously, you don't even have to pass, but no pause, sorry, the answer is salubrious and beneficial. Let's go to the next one. The critic maintained that the researcher's dash was not in question, but argued that her conclusion was not sufficiently supported by the available evidence. Okay, let's look at the answer choices now. Discom feature uneasiness integrity honesty morally upright uh, honesty uh, probity p r o b i t y probity is a synonym integrity means honesty morally upright rectitude uh, integrity also means uh, undivided united egoism selfish mortification uh, feeling insulted humiliated it can also mean subjecting oneself to a lot of you know tapas um, uh, a lot of activities by denying oneself food and sleep and other pleasures in order to gain self control that is what yogis do so that's called self mortification tapasya karna untikalu tapasu nidraharalu mani rectitude and integrity are a pair rectitude means integrity morally upright dharmic uh, so rectitude, the opposite is turpitude, T-U-R-P-I-T-U-D-E. Turpitude means morally corrupt, immoral. Ineptitude means inefficiency, unskilled, uh, improper handling, lack of skill. So again, I think the answer is obvious, you see. The answer has to be because I can see only one pair here. Okay, the critic maintained that uh, the dash, researchers dash, but argued that uh, the answer is obvious. It is integrity and rectitude. No need to pause here. Next one. These are substandard. You know, the quality is very low. The ETS questions will be much tougher. Beware. Anyway, we are learning a lot of words and we are also acquiring the skills necessary to deal with these questions. Okay. Upon reading, I'm going to look at the words below. Missive means a letter. Uh, missive is simply a letter. Well, I think it's an old-fashioned archaic word for letter, an official letter or whatever. Screed is a long and lengthy angry speech. The synonyms of screed are diatribe, D-I-A-T-R-I-B-E, tirade, T-I-R-A-D-E, harangue, H-A-R-A-N-G-U-E, philippic, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-I-C. All these words mean a very angry rant. R A N T ranting and raving, so a very angry, long and critical speech. Okay, Tom is a, a big book. It's a humorous word for a big book. You know, voluminous books which are boring to read. Yeah? That is a tome. Quandary is a state of confusion. Uh, where there is uh, no hope for any progress. Quandary can be considered a state of confusion or a kind of stalemate, impasse, 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 no progress possible, deadlock. Quandary is confusion or stalemate. Diatribe and screed are a pair, clearly. Oh, again, I think, you see, so substandard is the construction. The answer has to be B and E. Even before I read that article, my answer is that. Let's see. Upon reading an incendiary article, incendiary, literally, if it is used as a noun, it means a bomb, explosive. Incendiary used as an adjective means a very provocative speech. A speech uh, that is uh, uh, usually given by a person who can be called a demagogue. D-E-M-A-G-O-G-U-E. Demagoguery. Demagogue is a false leader, a rabble rouser, R-A-B-B-L-E hyphen R-O-U-S-E-R. Rabble means common people, rouse means provoke. provoke. So the demagogues and rabble rousers, best example is Hitler. So these are people who, who can deliver such speeches that uh, the mob gets angry and they will go on rioting. So that kind of a speaker is called a demagogue and that kind of activity is called demagoguery, rabble rousing speeches. So... Uh, incendiary speeches are extremely provocative. 
uh, upon reading an incendiary article that means the article is very provocative it is uh, common people will get aggravated they get angry they will take weapons and start you know burning things uh, you see what's happening in ireland dublin right now so incendiary upon reading an incendiary article questioning the merits of his college in the local newspaper the class president felt compelled to harangue Harangue means deliver an angry speech. The editor in da- in a dash that voiced his objections. In a, the answer I already told you. That's it. <laughs> Screed and diatribe. Anyway, he gave you an extra clue also. But the person who constructed this particular question or all these questions is not really likely to be. He is unlikely to be employed by ETS to construct questions because it is so silly, so simple. Because there is no confusion here at all. There is only one pair in the answer choices. Okay. Now you are understanding the game, how it has to be played. Now again, we look at the words below first. Voracious means having a huge appetite. Huge appetite, like a bhim. Vrukodara. In Mahabharata, Bhima is called Vrukodara. That means he has the appetite of a wolf. Wolves are known to have huge appetites. Voracious eater. That means he can eat a lot of food. Fleeting means short-lived, unique, you already know. Fleeting is synonymous with fugacious, fugitive, ephemeral, evanescent, temporary, transient, something that is very, very short-lived. The opposite is abiding, eternal, hmm? enduring, enduring values, abiding value. That means something of great, lasting value. So fleeting means something that does not last very long. Rapid, you know, that advantage is distinctive. Unique and distinctive are a pair, aren't they? So, I think that should be the answer. I have not yet read the sentence. Let's see. Though all birds of prey, predator, raptor, a bird of prey is also called a raptor, R-A-P-T-O-R. Predator is a hunter. Bird of prey is called a raptor, R-A-P-T-O-R. Incidentally, America's F-16's one particular type is called a raptor, a raptor. Though all birds of prey share certain features including excellent eyesight and sharp talons. Talon is a claw which makes these birds excellent hunters by equipping them to find and catch prey. Some species display dash characteristics such as the high speed dive of the peregrine falcon. Falcon. The answer is obvious. All of them, you know, all share some certain features but some have unique features the answer is unique and distinctive so these are substandard constructions anyway this is good practice for you keep following keep watching all my youtube videos and please pass them on to every gre aspirant you know my objective is to ensure that all my hindu brothers and sisters and including anybody of another religion who if they are truly patriotic and who can say bharat mata ki jai and vande mataram i hope uh, my videos will help them is the gre so that they get into the best universities in america and come up in life thank you very much listening to me please pass it on jai shri ram